Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and today I have a layout for May I Scrap Lift 2. And I am scrapbooking, scrap lifting a layout from Crystal, and I grabbed this from her Instagram account. And you will see it, I will put it in the corner of the video as I go so that you can see the layout that I'm scrap lifting. And what drew me to this layout was the pattern papers and the notebook punch that I believe she used um, on this layout. And I hadn't used my notebook punch in quite a while. So I really liked the idea of all that stack of papers. And so all I did was go through some scraps and pulled out pattern papers that matched the background pattern paper that I have there that is like a rainbow of sort of just a whole lot of uh, color that's just been kind of painted on like little strokes and so that is what I used to pull all of the colors and then once I had all of my pattern papers and I punched them all out I am tearing the edges or the bottom edge of all the pattern papers to again add a little bit of texture this just adds a bit more texture and a little bit more interest to the stack of pattern papers and I really love how this looks. I definitely have a few more layers for sure than what was on the uh, original layout, but I love all of the colors sort of layered together and, in, and sort of haphazard and they're not perfectly lined up. So I really like that Add, added interest that it gives the page. And so I'm just gonna layer up all of these pattern papers, kind of get them where I want. And then I'm going to lay it out on the page and put my title where I know it's going to go. And then off camera, I will glue all of this down and then come back and we will put the embellishment clusters together. So you can see there, I have a Bramble Fox uh, acrylic piece and that is gonna be my title, which is Summer Adventures. And then there you see I have everything glued down and we are going to work on building our clusters. And I'm gonna keep just like the sketch with two clusters, one at the top left of the photo and then one at the bottom right of the photo. And so I am just using a combination of stickers that I've put on white cardstock and some ephemera pieces that are these florals. I have some fussy cut hearts and then some butterflies and other sort of little insects. Most everything that I'm using came from past uh, Paige Evan collections. I don't know, they might all be from the same one and I don't know which one it was. Um, but I'm basically just pulling all of those pieces and creating some fun clusters uh, on both sides of my photo. And there's no real rhyme or reason to this. I'm just kind of building out the clusters, making them look nice and full. I definitely have more embellishing on this page probably than Crystal's original layout. But I think overall, I kept pretty true to her original uh, layout. And it was you could definitely see that it was my inspiration, I think, once you see the finished product. And so I'm just going to go here and just finish fiddling around with where I want to put all of these embellishing little pieces, adding in those hearts and then the butterflies. So I will have in the description box below everyone who is playing along with Crystal this month for May I Scrap Lift You. And I know some people are playing every day and then others are playing on different days. And then some like myself are just kind of playing whenever they can. So I do plan to try and have at least a few layouts up this month to play along. And so you can always check back, make sure you subscribe so that you know when new layouts come up. And yeah, I hope to get to scrap lift a few other uh, scrappers out there. There's tons of inspiration. So it's so fun to see everyone's take on layouts and see how they interpret their vision of that layout. So once I have everything glued down, I am just going to add these enamel dots. And with that, we are going to call this one done. So be sure to come back and see what else I create this month. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.